Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be adding a slide to our character. So in order to do that, let's just go ahead and go down to our starter character scripts. Let's add in a local script and let's name it sliding handler. And in our sliding handler, we need to get the input service, but also the player. So let's go ahead and get the player first. Local player equals game.players. Uh, local player now get the input service or the user input service let's game dot user input service and we'll say input service dot input began connect function and pass through input and game event if not game event then and we only want to be able to slide if the game is currently active RS game dot conditionals game active if game active oops active value equals true and we want to say if player dot leader stats dot conditionals dot has possession value equals true actually false I mean and we want to say if player dot leader sets dot conditionals dot shooting value and player leader sets conditionals sliding and then here is where we will say if input dot user input type equals enum dot user input type dot mouse button one or input uh, key code equals enum dot key code button B then then we want to slide so we will say we'll say slide colon fire server and we are gonna pass through the player character humanoid root part C frame the look vector and the player Actually, excuse me, I think we just need to pass through the look vector. Uh, we haven't created it yet, so let's see. We need to go make the remote event and in the replicated storage. So we'll call it slide. We'll add a script, call it slide. And in here we'll say local RS equals game dot replicated storage. And we'll say local slide equals RS remote events slide. And we'll say slide die on server event connect function player and direction. Oh, and we want to get the slide power equals. And that is on our uh, they're in our game dot server storage and slide power will be ss configuration slide power uh, value let's go make sure it's a uh, i think a hundred is a good value for it if i remember correctly all right so now we're gonna say player dot leader stats dot conditionals dot sliding dot value equals true and we're gonna create a local slide velocity equals instance dot new body velocity don't worry about it uh, having that that strike through through it uh, this will work slide velocity dot max force equals vector three dot new one zero one outside the parentheses multiplied by thirty thousand slide velocity dot velocity equals direction multiplied by slide power slide velocity dot parent is going to equal the player's characters humanoid humanoid root part and here we will say for count equals one to eight do and we're going to wait uh, yeah, we're going to wait for 0 0.1 and slide velocity dot velocity multiplied equals 
0 0.7. And so now we want to say slide dot fire client player and slide velocity destroy. And let's copy this line, paste it there and make it false. Let's go back to our sliding handler and get the slide event equals RS for mode events slide slide fire server and then now we want to say slide dot on client event connect function we're not passing anything through it and what we're going to do here is all we're going to do is we're just going to stop the slide animation which we have not made yet um, here's what we are going to do really quick we're going to create a local function uh, called slide and here we will start the animation but first let's make sure this is working so i mean we're there, there is no animation hooked up or set up yet uh we just want to make sure that this is working so it's not going to do anything yet because the game's not active remember we can only slide when the game's active so you can't really it's hard to tell but it is working <laughs> it's applying a force to the direction we're looking at and it, and it didn't do it uh, when we had the ball. If you try to move somewhere else while you're in the middle of sliding, it, it won't let you. You can rotate, but you can't move. So it's working correctly. We just got to play this, this uh, slide animation. What we're actually going to do is press play first, let your player spawn, and then find your player in the workspace. And see this animate script? We're going to right click it and copy it. And then now we can stop and go to your starter character scripts right click and paste into and then now if we open up this animate script uh it's got all of our <clears throat> excuse me it's got all of our all of our animations <clears throat> so we need to add really we're going to add three but for right now we're just going to add one for slide so we can just duplicate um any one of them really we'll we'll just duplicate uh jump we're going to name it slide and select this jump animation and we're not going to do it in this course we're not going to create the animation because i've already got one created um, and plus there's tons of videos out there on how to create animations in roblox uh, or in blender um, so we're not going to create the animation i've already got the animation id so you can you can just you should be able to just use this id as well uh, so let me get that id and if you can't use it, just let me know. It's probably something to do with the permissions and I just need to make it uh, public or something. I don't know. But uh, bear with me one sec. All right, I've got it. I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to rename jump animation or jump anim to slide anim. And so now we need to go back to our slide handler and we need to get some variables uh, in order to do the animations. So. The variables we need we need our humanoid uh, and we need our animator and we need the animate script so uh, first first make sure we have a animator on our humanoid we do not so we need to add an animator to our humanoid and we're gonna say local humanoid equals player character wait for child humanoid then local animate equals player character wait for child animate all right so now we need to get our slide animation so we'll say local slide anim equals animate wait for child slide wait for child and what was it wasn't it slide anim yeah now we need to get our slide anim track or create a slide anim track so we just need to say animator load animation slide anim and no i think that's a think that is it so now when we uh slide we want to start the anim track so we'll say slide anim track play and then down here we need to say slide anim track stop let's try it out let's see if it's working and we cannot slide until the game is active boom beautiful all right so there we go that's our slide 